Brendan Savage here. I'm with Jason Simon, former Flint Bulldog, former New York Islander. Yes. With the Islanders. Uh, what are you doing these days for people who don't know? Uh, well, we started out in uh, Detroit there for the Detroit Dragons. It was the A. Um, AHA. AHA, but That's we folded there on uh, Monday. Unfortunately, we just didn't have the support uh, we were looking for. I also run a um, youth program on the Sarnia Reserve. Work with um, the youth ages uh, 12 to 19. Uh, train them, getting, uh, getting them ready for. Uh, um, well, one of my kids is actually um, one of my youth actually uh, is ranked number fifth in the world uh, in shot put. So really? we do a lot of uh, a lot of weight training, uh, not so much cardio, but a lot of a lot of strength training, a lot of core work. That's got to be rewarding. Yes, it's great. Um, what was the NHA like? I saw that um, you had a couple goals, I think, and if we had a couple fights too. I had one fight. Uh, yeah. Um, what was the What was the level of play like? A lot of kids uh, coming out of college and uh, junior, so it was pretty quick. Um, wasn't a lot of a uh, lot of great passing or um, um, uh, how can I put it? A lot of like skilled um, plays, uh, a lot of energy, uh, a lot a lot of quickness. But just uh, you know, as as a as a um, as a league progressed, you could see that. Some of the guys were getting the hang of it uh, at the plays and slowing things down and, and trying to make, you know, uh, the right passes. Some of the guys who were here in training camp actually are, are in that league. Um, you were the first guy to go straight, not straight from the Colonial League, but from the Colonial League to the NHL in the same year. What was that like? I mean, that's got to be a, a huge uh, difference from, you know, the buses to, to the NHL. What was the whole NHL experience like? It was, you know, it was, it was great. It's, it's, uh, you know, when they say it's the show, it is. It's, it's the real deal. I mean, you know, you got uh, first class seating all the way through the, the chartered um, um, planes. Uh, the nice meals, hotels. The, the meals are unbelievable. Um, the pregame meals, the meals after the game on the plane, uh, the meal money, which is, which was great. Um, just everything about it. I mean, any kind of stick you want to use, whatever kind of gloves. It's just you're treated like kings. You just you're basically just treated the way that uh, professional athletes are supposed to be treated, which was, was fantastic. It was, uh, you know, it was a dream of a lifetime, and I'm, I, I was glad that I got to spend a little bit of time up there. You were here for a year and a half, I think. Do you have any memories stick out uh, above all the others when your days with the Bulldogs? Oh, of course. Getting out of town, maybe? <laughs> no, I loved Flint. I loved the energy in this uh, in this barn when, you know, when we had a packed house. There would be a number of times when, you know, we'd pack this place and uh, when me and Jock Mayotte got at her a couple times. But uh, I also liked uh, the way that Gordy Howe um, loved hanging around the dressing room and, and, you know, he always got to chat with Gordy after When Marty was an assistant. When, when Marty was the assistant, yeah. And, and, uh, Didn't he skate with you guys in practice a couple times? Yeah, he took uh, warm-ups with us a couple times. I got some pictures of that. That had to be very cool. Yes, it was great. Now you, uh, you're one of the best fighters that's ever passed through here, a guy who obviously could play too. Who were uh, the best fighters you fought in this league? Uh, I imagine Mayotte would be up there. Bruce Jacques Ramsey. Mayotte was his up there. Uh, Sasha Lakovic. He uh, you had a couple of memorable ones with him. He made a name for himself big time. Um, those two just, those are the only two that really, really stick out in my mind. Um, I can't remember any. Ramsey or Hearn Ray or anybody like that? Hearn Ray, Ramsey, yeah. You know, we used to go up to Thunder Bay on those uh, three games and three nights in Thunder Bay, and you know you're getting into at least five scraps over the weekend. Didn't you and Jack have a memorable one up there too in Thunder Bay, where you guys got into it? I think in the when you were teammates in the penalty box with maybe like Jerry St. Cyr or somebody. I thought that was uh, in Detroit, actually. That was in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, what was tonight like? How much fun was that? Well, um, I, you know, I, I know Sean Burr and Paul Eisenberg and Craig Neenhouse. They, uh, they're all from my hometown, and that's how I heard about the game, actually. And uh, I actually called up um, Lauren Noft and asked him if, uh, if there's any room to come and play on Saturday because, uh, you know, I like playing with those guys, playing against them. You know, I, we play on occasion uh, on Sundays uh, with Craig and, and Paul, and uh, it's always fun to play against them or with them. So uh, I, knew, I knew tonight would be a, you know, a fun time, get out see the boys, the old-time boys, and, uh, you know, play a little bit of hockey. And I remember you told me back in the Bulldogs days, if you didn't have to wear a helmet, you wouldn't, and you didn't tonight. So that's got to be fun. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I played a game without wearing a helmet. Uh, I, I love doing that. It's just, um, even when I wore the visor this year, um, for some reason the visor, it, um, it pro 
precedes my my peripheral vision. Oh I yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's a, prohibits your, your yeah. I don't know if it's if it's a light deflecting off the, the shield or because of the the shield it just it distorts things. But I I, I never was good playing with uh, with the shield and. Uh, I, any, anytime I can take the shield off and play, play a game, that's, I love it. So tonight was a night. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Simon. Thanks, Jason. Thanks.